Verve, online devotional videos. I heard a brilliant uh, statement uh, today uh, given by a, a, a saintly, godly woman that, that inspires me so much. Th these were her words. She said, um, saints sit, soak, and sour. Saints sit, soak, and sour. And she wasn't being critical, but she was, she was talking about a, a warning that if we just simply sit, and we soak in uh, Christ and the goodness of God and, and the refreshment of God and the power of God, and then we don't do anything other than do that again, sit and so we will sour. And sometimes that sourness comes out in bitterness towards others. Sometimes it comes out in bitterness towards ourselves and we go have inner turmoil because we weren't supposed to just sit, soak. We were supposed to sit, soak, and then do. But Without the do, there is a souring that takes place in all of us. Adam and Eve messed up in the garden because they weren't working, they weren't fulfilling their responsibilities. They weren't taking dominion in the garden. They, were, they, were, they weren't doing what they were told to do and that's where the souring took place. James says that faith without works uh, is dead. Faith without works sours because it's the doing that, that makes our faith grow and increase and, 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 and gives us that transformative presence of Jesus Christ. I don't want to be sitting and soaking and souring. I want to be sitting and soaking and then doing. Let's make that our drive. It's not fill me up so I can be filled up again because that leads to stagnancy. Fill me up so it flows through me and I will be filled again and again with his presence. Something for you to think about. Verve, devotional videos to your inbox.